<clears throat> okay, so this is uh, my first uh, electric bicycle build. So I got the bike uh, from uh, I think the website called Barry Bike. This is um, uh, supposed to be a motorized riding bike frame. So it's supposed to you install uh, like uh, 60 cc or 80 cc two-stroke uh, gas motor, and already come with a sprocket at the end on the left side drive, and you have a single speed drive on the right hand side for the pedaling. So what I did is I bought this motor uh, from Amazon and it comes with the controller. So this is a MY1020 type um, uh, brushless uh, direct motor and uh, this one is rated for 60 volt, uh, 60 V and uh, 2000 Watt and the uh, controller is uh, rated for 33 uh, continue amp and the, the battery I got from eBay uh, is a LiPo 4 60V 20 amp hour uh, battery so everything is set up for the 60V and the 2000 watt set up and uh, I had to change this bracket it was uh, TA number 8 like a smaller for scoot, uh, scooter so I changed to like this uh, for the 420 chain but then this sprocket is not 420 chain so we had to file this down a little bit so make it for the bicycle chain I have this uh, uh, tensioner and also 3D print this uh, controller box and this uh, fuse this is right now is 30 amp fuse so that's the setup and uh, I did a little test earlier so the this has a three speed and uh, the low lowest speed setting I can get up to like 32 miles per hour and uh, I set to the middle speed setting I didn't actually see a lot difference on the top end speed I got to 33 34 with in the so short distance so we'll see haven't tested the high sp high speed uh, setting yet just want to make sure my uh, disc brake the brake power is enough to stop this thing before I go uh, crazier uh, so I actually changed so the both are mechanic pole disc brake but I changed the front one to uh, like a hydraulic uh, brake assembly still using the pole mechanic pole but it's hydraulic the uh, the back is uh, it's uh, just mechanic pole disc brake all right Okay, it's why I wouldn't be today. Okay, hold on, let me set it up. Let me set this up. One thing I'm going to change is the handlebar is really low and the speed is really high. So I ordered the, the handlebar riser, like 3 inch riser. Uh, going to help a little bit more comfortable now. I just, uh, you know, kind of very lean on it. The seat is tall. So, alright, let's go. Oh, it's 
One thing I noticed throughout the testing earlier and now is just at the lower at the lower end, like uh, lower end speed, like below uh, 20 miles per hour. This thing uh, has a lot flex. 
uh, I think uh, mainly because due to the uh, location position of this motor right beneath the seat you can see and they have a, a plate to hold it so at lower end this motor is flexed a little bit vibrate and they translate to the seat a little bit because the location of the motor and because the attachment to to the frame so I had to think so it's only happening in the low end speed so uh, like some somewhere below like 20 miles once it's go get up there it doesn't feel anything it's just pretty smooth so I need to figure out something about it later I, I don't know if it's possible because mainly just because the limitation of the motor location it may not be anything I can do but so because the bicycle this bike is so light so easy to uh, maneuver so I, I just so I, at lower speed I just uh, lift my butt off the seat so it doesn't trans uh, it doesn't bother me so that's what I do for now for the low speed so once I get up there I can sit down okay all right that's it for now